Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's popping and how are you doing? If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Opayemi and I'm a YouTuber based here in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you for clicking on this video, but please do one more thing for me. Please click on the subscribe button. Do it, do it, do it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, you already know how I feel about you. You're my guys, my Gs. You know I love you and I do not take the love that you have for me for granted. Thank you for always coming back. As you can already tell from the title of this video, I'll be talking about some dating mistakes that we make in our 20s. And with me in this video is... Tada! <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Kola Wole. Yeah. Um, I'm an architect, a designer, a graphic designer, and the likes. And a creative, generally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank me for coming. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> Whatever it is. Moving on. One thing that not one, I feel like two things that we struggle with in our twenties a lot is relationship and money like we struggle with those things a lot and i feel like if we can have those things figured out early enough things will be better you said soft life at some point i remember <laughs> things will be better so that's why i decided to film this video and you know talk about some mistakes that we some dating mistakes that we make and how it can be avoided i mean for personal experiences and i do not also want to be biased i mean i'm a lady that's why i decided to have a male perspective on this topic so if this sounds like something that you would love or would love to hear about because me, i love relationship talks i know you do too but if this if is something that you would like to hear then you should keep watching this video and make sure that you watch it till the very end yeah so without further ado let's get it get it get it uh the first point that i will try to talk about is um know yourself and people need to know exactly who or what they are dealing with. So if you are yet to discover yourself, you probably will have problems in relationships. Because, I mean, if you are still confused, who will be your partner which you know confused? Or he know confused? I swear. So, yeah, you need to learn about yourself and then know how to put yourself out properly. Because the other person is not a magician. Yeah. They don't read minds. They, they need to hear you and see you do stuff and be consistent with it. So, yeah, pro tip. Mm -hmm. No, you're saying. Say pro tip. <laughs> All right. So, um, from my own end, I would say that don't rush into relationships. I mean, I cannot overemphasize it. I don't know who is chasing us. I don't know who, I mean, set the timer. I don't know why we are just always in a hurry to jump into relationships. Bro, calm down. Sister, calm down. Okay? Yeah. Another reason why I feel like you should not even talk, like you should not rush into relationships is because most of the time, when you leave a relationship, like you leave one and want to get into another, you most likely carry the hurt and burden and baggage from one relationship and then you just want to like take it all into another relationship. Put it which is wrong because you would you know you just end up breaking things breaking things up just take your time think about things figure things out why did my previous relationship work out what can i do better what would i have preferred this other person to do better or should do better how can i communicate these things think about these things objectively be true to yourself and then decide to now look out for, oh, this person, you know, is my spec, this person is this, this person is that. Then take your time, get to know this person, spend time with the person you want to be with, communicate, talk about things that matter and stuff like that before you now decide to start a relationship. Don't start a relationship on impulse. Nobody's chasing you. There's no competition. That your friend or your friends are in a relationship does not mean that you also have to be in a relationship, okay? Don't let them pressure you. Don't let them pressure you. Don't let them pressure you. Please don't pressure anywhere, okay? Take your time. Take your time. That's all I would say. Let's learn to take our time. Yeah. yeah. And then my next point would be that do not do picture perfect. Nobody will tell us what to do. Ha. I yes. will tell you, bro. Breakfast is a national cake. My friend, don't talk about it. Don't 
most people have not even um, experienced enough to know enough. And so, um, a lot of people, they just grow on Instagram. So they grow up having this social media type of relationship. Yeah. And they don't get to even know how it works in real life. Just try as much as possible to do the type to know the difference between ideal and reality. A lot of people, they are not really comfortable in their relationship. But they can't break it off because as long as the pictures are fine, I'll be you know what oh, my friends say almost that like big time. Oh, almost, they look so good to, so good good together, together. But yeah. they good together. Mm. My breakfast is tidy, last last. So and don't let anybody um turn you to don't let anybody abuse you. Mm-hmm. And don't let yourself abuse someone else. You've given another point, this time one point. Wow. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, picture perfect, don't let it be the goal. Let the major thing be what is inside. What yeah, don't, really, compromise don't compromise the important things for things that don't for matter. Picture perfect. Yeah. Don't compromise what people see for what you have. Mm, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you. I feel like next thing I would, next thing I would say is that have healthy conversations. Let's say healthy. <laughs> the next thing I would say is have healthy conversations. I mean, we tend to talk a lot. There are gists flying here and there. Something is just going to happen on social media. And we have a lot of things to talk about that we forget to talk about the things that matter. Clearly express your expectations from your partner. What do you want? What are you looking out for? How can this person be what you want? Talk about these things. I'm not saying that there won't be disagreements, but when you disagree, how do you handle disagreements? Do you guys just throw words around and then push it under the carpet and you don't really sort things out and, and settle things? Such that they will not, the same problem today will, will not, not happen to you get. So really, you need to start talking about the things that matter. Talk a lot about things that, it's not even you, we all need to. You know, start talking a lot about things that matter. Have healthy conversations. Clearly express your expectations, like I said earlier. And communication is not complete if the other person or the other party does not also talk. Do you get? So, how do they receive whatever you say? Do they understand? Or you just said it the way you feel like they would understand. So, know how your partner wants to be communicated with and then communicate that way. Don't just throw words around and feel like, maybe I told you. No, you didn't told me. Nobody told me. You told me, really. Yeah, so, yeah, I feel like that's a shot for me. Yeah. Okay, um, my own, my own next point would be don't go into a relationship with a fixed picture in your head. Yeah. Mm. See, everybody is a whole person. Yeah. So, whatever you must have, like, uh, concluded on or with coming from your own experience people that you have related with in the past and all of that yes you have moved from one person to another and then you have gathered one or two things yeah and of course there are things that you would like to see again there are things that you wouldn't want to see again but still it doesn't mean that you should just put all of those lights together and remove all of those don't so the next person you want them to just be full of only things that you want. Yes. And then never think that Advantage. you don't want. Advantage. I you know, want to disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. why don't you just go to China, order a robot? Uh, yeah. I mean you cannot be told my dear. You okay. cannot you cannot be the perfect gentleman. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. But um the major point here is that don't go into a relationship or don't meet a, per- a new person. Just expecting them to fit into a certain image that That's you have already, in your head. Exactly, yeah. It is not easy. It's almost impossible. If they do it at first, it will not last. You because they're not their person. Yeah, that's pretense. Yeah, that's pretense. So, chill. Know about them. Then see if there are certain things that you two can compromise. I feel like that's what relationship is about anyway. Yeah. You compromise on certain things and all of that. So, make sure that things that you are asking him to compromise on, are things that can be compromised on. Things that even matter to the relationship. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. like just not for your own selfish, selfish yeah. 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 
Maybe you should just complete that because she gets it. I guess so. You don't just uh, go into expecting somebody to fit into the image that you already have in your head. Be flexible, be realistic, and hello, how are you? All right, so I feel like I should add to what you just said and say that you need to be patient. Patience is a virtue. I mean, we used to just say that, but not everybody actually is patient. Not everybody can be patient. But if you want your um, partner to be all that you want them to be for you, or to love you the way you want them to love you, or the way you should be loved, because sometimes how you want to be loved is not how you should be loved. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah. So I feel like you need to be patient with your partner. Even if they are willing to make um, changes for you, they are willing to compromise for you, they are willing to you know, make some sacrifices for you. You don't expect them to just be all of that in a day, in a month. These things take time. Are you now patient enough you know, for them to go through that process, through that phase, and then become what, what I mean, become all that they can be? So I would say that, you know, let them take their time. Walk through that process with them in love let them know that you see them trying i mean acknowledge the fact that oh babe you didn't used to call me five times before now you are calling me five times even though i want ten times but you know five times is progress acknowledge their progress be patient with them and do these things with them in love like walk through that process with them in love and vice versa do you get boy and get what yeah. cuts for you also cuts for me. You get it. I think we should forget about it. Don't forget about it. Though. <laughs> I want you to have a happy relationship here. Yeah, so. so don't forget it. Yeah, so that's that on my on my hand. So my own next point would be try as much as possible to know his or her past. Mm. Um please my past. As you can. My past, what do you mean? By, you mm-hmm. asking for body count? <laughs> <laughs> it is understandable or it is expected that you try to understand where they are coming from yeah the things that will make you understand something understand someone and not have a problem with the way they do things yeah. sometimes not all the time sometimes it's if you understand where they are coming from so for instance you can have someone do something inside where you see them from afar and be like this one's dead it's always like this it's always like that it's always like that until if something brings you guys together and then you see why they do what they do yeah you can now understand that oh it's because because you have a because yeah you have an idea of your mind, of what's up. you would not judge mm. rather you would understand if it's something that you feel like no but it still doesn't mean that you should be like this then communication and comprehension follow mm, yeah. but if you don't understand you just judge it and reject it ask questions know things and understand them see for thanks gracias <laughs> all right so um the next thing that i would say would be that you don't always necessarily have to have marriage mindset in every relationship that you go to go into because these things she, uh, most the word now it shrinks out the fun and excitement out of relationships I'm not saying that enter a relationship without, you know, having a long term, um, whatever it is in mind or being serious about it. I mean, while you are, there are some things that, there are many things, not even some things, there are many things that you would miss out on just because you are trying to like see that person just the same way you talked about exactly. image. Exactly. So you're already putting them in this particular position. So anything short of that, you're already, you know, you're already canceling them, which is wrong. Relax. Have fun enjoy Bro. exactly go on dates explore go on adventures you know get to know things about yourself it might even now be that while you are doing all of those things you start seeing things that you actually want things that you want to keep things that you need that you did not know that you need mm. to get so, <laughs> mm, <me too>. so <laughs> relax a bit chill out a bit and stop burdening yourself with the is it my husband? Is she my wife? At some point, you get serious. You guys will have, yeah. to, like, you guys will have to start discussing those things. But for a start, I think let it go into that. Mm, you get it's not like it is you that will not be forcing things and say that. Yeah. Because Afa. Afa now. Afa now. Mm. The one thing I would like us to talk about, and just okay. one random stuff is, do you think love is enough to make a relationship work? I mean, I had, I um, have the notion that it is not enough, but other people feel like it's enough. 
What well, do you think? Well, um, I feel like love is just a sensation. Mm, well, not it so, um, and what really makes love a thing? Yeah. A series of actions, series of things, other things. That I love you is just a feeling. A feeling that needs to be acted on, that needs to be worked on. Yeah. So that's why I, mean, I feel like love is not enough. But then, I mean, you have your own opinion and you could beg to differ. So please let me know in the comment section if you also feel like love is um, love is not enough or you feel like love is enough. So tell us why in the comment section. If we have come to the end of this video, I mean, I had a nice time. I... Yo. Very thank nice you. time. Thank you. All thank right, you for having so, me. And I hope that you guys also had a nice time watching us. Um, so thank you for watching this video. If you watched up to this my time moment right now, you are the real and the pace. I have to bro. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> if you've not also subscribed to this channel, please watch this right like subscribe. Subscribe. So long. So long. Share your love. So long. So long. So long. So long. So long. Please subscribe and to this channel. Share. Yeah. And give this video a thumbs up and also share this video. I will this really one, not this one. Yeah, this, this one. one. We really appreciate it. So till I see you in my next video, do well to stay safe and stay sane. Bye.